Number 25, the gun shield. Supposedly used by the bodyguard of Henry VIII, it was basically a wooden shield with a hole for a pistol to stick through. Number 24, the sword breaker. With teeth on the sides meant for catching opponent's swords, one flick of the wrist was enough to split them in half. Number 23, the spring-loaded triple dagger. Used by fencers in the Middle Ages, when a button was pressed, two extra blades would flip out. Number 22, the morning star. Sometimes called the holy water sprinkler, this refers to a series of spiked weapons that were often used by peasants, although there were upscale versions as well. Number 21, the trebuchet. Able to launch things over half a mile, the advent of these super-powered catapults made castles slightly less appealing. Number 20, dead animals. On the topic of trebuchets, some of the most popular ammunition included dead animal carcasses. They would be used to spread disease behind castle walls. Number 19, scythe chariots. With blades coming out of each wheel, it was used to slice through enemy lines, cutting their troops in half. Number 18, hunga munga. A weapon used by African tribesmen, it was often thrown in a manner similar to a boomerang. Number 17, the arbalest. With the ability to shoot accurately up to half a kilometer, this oversized crossbow was sometimes deemed an unfair weapon. Number 16, the caltrop. Basically a medieval spike strip, caltrops were used to slow the advance of enemy cavalry. Number 15, the culverin. Before they were turned into massive cannons, they were used by medieval horsemen as a sort of rifle. Number 14, Greek fire. Although even today no one knows what it was made of, this referred to any incendiary material shot from the side of a ship that continued to burn on the surface of the water. Number 13, boiling oil. Given that invaders often tried scaling castle walls, defenders came up with recipes of their own. If oil wasn't available, water would suffice. Number 12, the pike. Although they were bad for close-range combat, a group of pikemen together could pierce through enemy infantry and cavalry fairly easily. Number 11, the longbow. Sometimes six feet long, these bows required a lot of strength to pull, and they were often used to launch multiple arrows at once. Number 10, the broadsword. Often used by knights and cavalry, broadswords could slice off an enemy's limbs effortlessly. Number 9, the warhammer. With the advent of chainmail and other types of armor, swords gave way to hammers and other blunt force type weapons. Number 8, the battering ram. Still used by police today, battering rams started out as huge logs that a large group of people would use to literally ram a door down, oftentimes with boiling oil being poured on their heads. Number 7, the hell burner. It's basically a suicidally explosive fire ship. Number 6, the man catcher. Typically used to pull people down from horseback, it was often used to capture royals for a ransom. Number 5. The Claw of Archimedes Designed to protect the Carthaginian city of Syracuse, whenever a Roman ship got too close, it would lift it up and tip it over. Number 4. The Shuriken While Europe was busy stabbing, slicing, and beating itself to death, the Japanese preferred small, silent, and extremely lethal forms of inflicting injury. Number 3. Flaming Arrows Although they may not seem that impressive, having a dozen flaming arrows come flying your way does not make for a fun day. Number 2. Dead Bodies You're probably wondering, why am I looking at a picture of a river and a castle? Where are the dead bodies? Well, that's where they put them, into the river. Rather than climbing over the castle walls, enemies would just dump diseases into the water supply. And number 1. The Lantern Shield Basically the Swiss Army knife of weapons, it had numerous little blades, serrations, and other dangerous outcroppings attached to it. If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.